In this video, we want to solve this differential equation. The goal first is to solve for dy over dx. So in order to do that, we need to have a dy over dx term. So let's divide both sides by dx. And so now we have dy over dx here, but we want to solve for it. So let's first subtract both sides by 2y and then divide by whatever's inside the parentheses. So now we have dy over dx is equal to negative 2y over x minus x cubed times y cubed. The next step is to flip both sides. So in other words, find the reciprocal. dy over dx is just dx over dy. And then for this one, I put the negative in front and then I have x minus x cubed times y cubed as a numerator and then 2y as a denominator. At this point, I can split this fraction up into two so this fraction is going to have common denominator of 2y and then I'm going to break it up based on the numerator. So this subtraction is going to split up the fraction. So the first, the, uh, the first fraction is going to have numerator x, the second fraction is going to have numerator x cubed y cubed. But this negative is going to apply to both the x and the negative x cubed y cubed. So the two negatives are going to cancel give me a positive. Now the next step is to simplify this. So y cubed over y becomes y squared. And so we have dx over dy is equal to negative x over 2y plus x cubed y squared over 2. And now we add both sides by x over 2y. At this point, I'm going to divide both sides by negative x cubed over 2. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want the right side to be a function of just, oh, just y. I have both x and y, but I just want y. So let's get rid of this x cubed over 2. And I'm going to make a substitution. So let v equal 1 over x squared. So the derivative of v with respect to y is negative 2, over, negative 2 dx over dy all over x cubed. Notice that this first term is just dv over dy and then 1 over x squared is v and I have over y on the bottom and that's going to equal negative y squared. At this point we can find an integration factor which will be e to the integral of the coefficient of v which is negative 1 over y. Integrated we get e to negative ln of y which is 1 over y. Now we're going to multiply both sides by 1 over y distribute and get 1 over y dv over dy minus v over y squared is equal to negative y. Notice that this is just a product rule. The derivative 1 over y is negative 1 over y squared. The derivative of v is, the, is dv over dy. So this is a product rule of 1 over y times v. Integrating both sides, the, the uh, derivative cancels. And then the antiderivative of negative y is negative y squared over 2 plus a constant. Multiplying both sides by y, we solve for v. Recall that v was 1 over x squared, so we replace that. Now, it's, it's not possible really to solve for y, or it's not reasonable. So let's solve for x instead. Solving for x, we just take the reciprocal of both sides and then take the square root. Notice because it's x squared, we need both the plus and the minus. And so we have plus or minus a square root of 1 over negative 1 half y cubed plus a constant times y. And that is my answer.